eye. The object that I chose to represent myself is a book. Not because I love to read, which I do, but because a book is a story from start to end with each chapter bringing something new. Sometimes when you read a great novel, you feel as though a chapter shouldn't be there, like it doesn't belong, but then you realize that that chapter is part of the story and the book would not be complete without it. I feel like the same could be said for some of the chapters in my life. There are some that I would have wanted to erase completely, but I wouldn't be me without those chapters, even the ones that felt very painful. If we come across a chapter in a book that we struggle through, we keep reading with the expectation that the next chapter will be better. I feel like that describes my life as well. When things get tough, and sometimes they do because life is not easy, I remind myself that every day is a new page and eventually this chapter will be over and I'll move on to something better. Specifically, I think the book Divergent and really the whole Divergent series represents me well, being torn between who everyone thinks that you should be and wanting to be your own kind of unique, not wanting to fit into any one specific mold. I have always been one to kind of fight back against the acceptable. They said, oh, April, you're too old to have a nose ring and an eyebrow piercing or tattoos aren't professional. And I still went out and I got all of those because those are things that I wanted and I wasn't going to let having somebody tell me that I shouldn't do it just kind of made me want to do it more. The older I get, the more that I realize that you can't live your life according to how someone else thinks that you should, how someone else writes it for you. You have to write your own story, take responsibility for the words that you're writing, and then sign your name proudly to it at the end. You can't worry about what the rest of the world thinks because you'll never be able to please everybody, so you might as well worry about making yourself happy. I am still writing my story. There have been some extremely painful chapters. There have been some exciting and adventurous chapters. There have been some chapters that felt like they were stolen straight out of a fairy tale. And there have been some chapters that I am downright ashamed of. But I wrote them all. They are mine and they have all led me to this moment. And I know that my story is still being written and that my best chapters are yet to come. Thank you for watching.